What's up, everybody? I'm all about little things to increase efficiency in clipboard managers. Hands down, I would say is one of the best things to have on your computer if you're looking for something like that. And today, I'll show you a few different options of clipboard managers that are out there, all of them secure, all of them open source so people can actually see the code and make sure it is what it is and not just sending data to other people and so much more info and we're gonna get straight into it right now. Um, popping up three great options, all of these on sourceforge.net. We're gonna have these links down below for you too. Um, the biggest one in focus here for this video is gonna be Ditto. And the big reason why I'm focused on Ditto is obviously I'm a big user of them. There's a good amount of people that also are in that same party. But then when we look at other options, Copy Q for an example, um, Clip Jump as another example. Last update for Clip Jump was a little bit older, and Copy Q has a little bit less active downloads and users. And this is all just basing off the sourceforge.net data. There's other places to get these applications, um, and that's not the sole reason of that. Here's Ditto's website, just another spot, um, another version of SourceForge to find this information. But, but I'm sure there's a few wondering what exactly does a clipboard manager do that's gonna increase in performance and help us out. So I'm gonna pull up Notepad++ here, or just Notepad. Just two, two great things um, people can enjoy. So usually when you hit control C on something like bacon and you're trying to copy that down, that's all you're gonna get is just that. You can't have something else. If you want turkey, you're gonna lose the last thing you pasted and you're not able to actually go back and see that information. So if you're ever copying data for a job or anything like that, or even something for yourself or, or whatever you're doing online that involves copying stuff, essays is big for college students. Um, this allows you to actually grab not only that information and then click down here for the little attachment and we're going to go to ditto here but it shows you a little box of all the different clipboards or clips that you've taken on your computer and you can go back to them but also we can set up special tools in this where if you hit a very similar key to control c you um you can have a second copy of an item so then at this point i can go for turkey and then I can hit bacon. And now I have both of these in the clipboard managers and I can go back and forth between the two. So that's what's going on here. That's why this tool is super helpful. Right now we're gonna walk through the process, gonna download Ditto. This is gonna come up pretty quick here, short little download, walk through the install process, run it, English. You do want to run Ditto on startup. Um, some people add Ditto as an exception to their Windows firewall, so this way you can send data out and you can have shared different clipboard managers between multiple computers. In this case, that's not what we're setting up, and if you're not setting that up either, you don't want Ditto to be able to communicate online. Um, this is showing me that I already have Ditto installed, so I'm gonna step out here. You guys would hit next and continue the process. And once you have Ditto installed, it's just gonna be down here at the bottom right of your Windows taskbar. And it's going to be this bad boy right here, this little blue box. I got a whole lot more going on here, but we're just looking for this guy right, right here. And if you right click it, you're able to go into the options and all this stuff like this. And if you left click it, just like a normal click, that's how you get the clipboard. Um, both of those are extremely handy. I do want to show you real quick how to set up the actual multi kind of copy buffer one copy buffer two, and then being able to paste both of those so you can go back and forth from stuff super easily. Um, as we're going through this options menu, obviously you wanna make sure it starts up with your system so it's always going and just good to go. Um, and you're gonna be in the copy buffer tab right here. I'm gonna back that boy out. And then this copy, in the copy buffer tab here, you can set up different hotkeys. I've currently just set up as the control alt C and control alt V combo, really close just on that one hand makes it efficient to be doing it that way, and also to play a sound on the Windows computer to confirm that copy. You can have that active and toggled or not, totally your call, um, and then you can also set up multiple copy buffers and just continue on. One thing to note is if you set up the hotkey as something that is like already a Windows command or something tool like that, you could face an error with that, and uh, buffer will let you know, or ditto will let you know. Um, and then once you're good with that, you hit okay, and it's set up and good to go. Other parts of this actual um, settings menu and things like that 
don't necessarily need to worry about much at all. There's things about your buffer and how many copies it's gonna save if you want to back that up. All of that stuff by default is to actually um, not any of that stuff. It shows you the database path and all that stuff like that. One thing to know with using a, using a clipboard, clipboard manager is this file is stored on your computer most of the time in an unencrypted format because a lot of people don't encrypt their drives. So in the case of something did happen where your computer did get stolen and someone who's smart enough to look for a specific file like this did, then that's where you face the chance of your password being there and maybe even your email right next to it and they can figure out a way to connect that to whatever site. But if you don't want that to happen, one thing that is a fail safe for not having any of your passwords in there is to set up an exception in your copy application. So if you're using a password manager and always copying passwords over and stuff like that, this is gonna make sure that Ditto never records that exact password manager and any information within that, which is cool. So right here at the bottom of the menu here, I have dashlane.exe added. And so what that's gonna do is anytime I copy something from that application, you're not gonna see it at all. So just to give you a quick little showcase of that, I'm gonna pull up Notepad, I'm gonna go for the good old combo this time, turkey bacon. And then you're gonna see how that guy popped up here in Ditto. Turkey bacon right there at the top. Now, if I pull up Dashlane, here's the application. I got a little dummy account for those of you trying to swoop some of my information. Look at that. Get at me, boy. <laughs> um, but so whenever I copy anything from Dashlane, I'm gonna go ahead and copy my email, go ahead and paste it in there. Gonna go ahead and copy the password, paste it in there as if I was logging onto the site. Oh. Did not hit copy right there. It's going too crazy. Um, paste that bad boy in, that's the password. And then from here, we're gonna check Ditto to see if any of that information got copied over. And dang, would you look at that? What a, what a good lad. Not copying any of that information. And that's gonna really keep you in this secure environment of not being afraid of your information getting out, being hacked and all that stuff that's been happening obviously for so long and it's gonna continue to happen with the world that we live in um, and really give you that maybe it's just a 1% boost or whatever it is that you're looking for with your software life and everything you're doing with technology wise because at the end of the day, there's so many options, so many things to look out for and our job is just to get you what is best and today that is gonna be ditto for the clipboard manager. Really appreciate you tuning into this video. If you enjoyed what we got going on, we'd love it if you could support. Um, there's so much more coming up in the future, a website environment and just more things to just offer you value because I understand the importance of just having a really efficient work environment, or technology or software as you use on your phone, or even ones that you trust and you know they're good and consistent because been through my fair share of frustrations with that stuff and that's I really just want to do my best to help everybody out with that type of thing since I've devoted a good portion of my time to it so anyways thanks for tuning in and peace out